October 4th, 2016. Guys, you're looking at the National Hurricane Center. These are the latest satellite images of the Caribbean. We're seeing the storm it's, uh, increased in speed, both uh, in miles per hour. It went from 140 to 145, a Cat 4, and it is now moving north, northwest at 10 miles an hour. Overnight, it tracked mostly north and northeast. It's starting to do the curve back to the uh, west. You can see it in the last few frames. But right now, guys, the worst part of the storm is over Haiti. And it's going to be there for the next several hours. You can see the eye over the Dominican Republic. But that northwest quadrant is coming right over the island of Haiti. And they've been getting rain for days. Remember the outer bands that we were watching a few days ago that went in there, created the flooding. But let's pull it up and look uh, at the longitude and latitude. And you can see as the eye is coming over the islands now, that uh, northwest section or the top right, right in there, coming over Haiti is going to be incredible you've got uh, 145 mile per hour sustained winds but gusts reaching up over 170 to 180 in some cases now quickly nicole has become a tropical storm the uh, different models we look at that quickly some show it recurving one show it uh, shows it diving down it could uh, mingle in with matthew up the northeast coast later in the week we'll take a look at that and notice 10 miles an hour on matthew now move, movement forward at 145 as far as sustained winds here's your time uh, scale hasn't changed much other than it's speeding up so don't be caught off guard. The M's, again, indicate major hurricanes. See that all the way up the coast of Florida? These are moved back to the right just a little, not much. But I'm starting to see that curve in the last frame on the satellite back to the left. So don't let, don't be caught off guard. Notice you're now in hurricane watches. That's that pink head uh, area along the coast of Florida right there. And tropical storm watches. You see the yellow uh, sections right behind the pink one. They're just coming on shore of Florida. Enhanced look. You can see how powerful this is. And this particular satellite is more west than the satellite that we were watching. It gives you a little different perspective. Your outer bands are already starting to touch the southern parts of Florida. Quickly, Tropical Storm Nicole, that model right there that's in the center with the blue line, that could cause some mingling of the two storms. We'll have to see. Canadian model, starting, we'll back it up, starts today on the 4th. There, we, it comes up, goes straight up the east coast. The eye is right along the shoreline. But, guys, I'm afraid that it's going to be moved back to the left like they did last night. That overnight track north uh, moved the model slightly back east, but don't let that fool you. Either way, if the storm's right where it's at now, notice that's the 5th. That's tomorrow. That's on the tip of Florida over the Bahamas, and the storm is large. You're already going to have outflows. You're, you're right on the tip of it now in South Florida. We're going to look at some webcams down from the southernmost point of the Keys. Here's uh, going back from the 2nd to the 3rd up to today, and you can see the progress of the storm. Again, Haiti's been getting the battered right front quadrant of the storm for a few days, starting right there on the 3rd. They were predicted to get over 40 inches of rain, and that may be, uh, we may break that because now the, with the curve that it's done, this thing is, uh, those folks there, guys, it's going to be a miracle that um, if a lot of people are not killed or hurt because some people were missing yesterday, some fishermen and things like that. Just that Clinton Foundation just never got there, guys, and that's kind of how it will be after this election. They're just going to a lot of promises, and, but nothing's going to happen except the country's going to be decimated like the storm is decimating uh, Haiti. So regardless of this, keep up with uh, what's going on with our election because once we get through the storm, there's a much more powerful storm coming in. It's going to be a worldwide one, and it's called the New World Order. We're watching all of that, guys. Don't but Notice in this last frame or two, there's a curve back to the left. But right here, that reddest section, is catching Haiti dead on, guys. You pray for them because they've been left virtually out in the cold. Notice as we move through this timestamp in the infrared, Florida is in your left section of the screen here, guys. See the tip that comes down? And as we go, I'm, I'll stop it in the very last frame as we go forward. You've had storms moving up that are part of the high pressure that's been battling the hurricane. They're starting to be pushed backwards. Here we're coming up to that last frame, and you see you're not far looking at Fort Lauderdale, the Miami area, from the outer bands. This is called the southernmost webcam, Key West. Check that out. People come there in that big red buoy, take pictures there all day long. You can see the water movement from the left to the right. That's where the storm is. It doesn't look bad there now, but you can tell the water is slightly agitated. It doesn't have that calm look. Yesterday, this camera was live, Abaco, the southern tips of uh, the Bahamas at Abaco Island. But it says the camera's offline. More than likely, the same way, reason that the Jamaican webcams went off when the weather got bad, but you can see in the horizon, instead of the sunny clouds we had yesterday, guys, that's a dark storm approaching the Bahamas. And I'm not sure the timing when this camera went off, but uh, it definitely looks dark and threatening. We're watching it, guys. I'm on my way to Florida. We're going to try to get the best coverage we can. Um, it's a heads up. Be safe.
October 4th, 2016. Guys, you're looking at the National Hurricane Center. These are the latest satellite images of the Caribbean. We're seeing the storm. It's uh, increased in speed, both uh, in miles per hour. It went from 140 to 145, a Cat 4, and it is now moving north, northwest at 10 miles an hour. Overnight, it tracked mostly north and northeast. It's starting to do the curve back to the uh, west. You can see it in the last few frames. But right now, guys, the worst part of the storm is over Haiti. And it's going to be there for the next several hours. You can see the eye over the Dominican Republic. But that northwest quadrant is coming right over the island of Haiti. And they've been getting rain for days. Remember the outer bands that we were watching a few... October 4th, 2016. Guys, you're looking at the National Hurricane Center. These are the latest satellite images of the Caribbean. We're seeing the storm. It's uh, increased in speed. Both uh, in miles per hour, it went from 140 to 145, a cat four, and it is now moving north, northwest at 10 miles an hour. Overnight, it tracked mostly north and northeast. It's starting to do the curve back to the uh, west. You can see it in the last few frames. But right now, guys, the worst part of the storm is over Haiti, and it's going to be there for the next several hours. You can see the eye over the Dominican Republic. But that northwest quadrant is coming right over the island of Haiti, and they've been getting rain for days. Remember the outer bands that we were watching a few days ago that went in there, created the flooding? But let's pull it up and look uh, at the longitude and latitude. And you can see as the eye is coming over the islands now, that uh, north